Hi Libra, I hope you're all doing well. In today's reading, we'll be looking at whoever you're thinking about for January. Um, this is someone who may be wanting a second chance with you. Um, we have them here. We have a Leo, Sagittarius, Aquarius, Aries in their energy. But strong fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And we have Gemini here, Libra, Taurus. A little bit of Virgo and Cancer. <laughs> mm. This person's a player. They may be someone who likes to keep their options open here. Can be someone who knows a lot of people. They date around with Jupiter in 11th house. They have a um, large friend group here. A lot of people know them. They may be traveling a lot. They don't like to sit in one place for too long. A very passionate individual. But it's very youthful, sort of careless demeanor coming through for a lot of you. And they can be very scattered with their energy their thoughts you know um, some of you may meet this person through work if you haven't or through friends but can be sort of a dating app scenario with the 11th house just be careful if you don't if you haven't met this person i this person it's almost carrying the devil on your back here right it, this will be a lot of work um if it were to work here there's potential but I'm not sure there'll be a lot of obstacles here we'll get more oracle see what's going on um, even if this is a past person coming through right what is their intentions what do they want from you but yeah for the positive they can't be someone who travels for work i've been getting that for a lot of signs but it can just be someone who's uh, quite hard working they're very dedicated when it comes to their goals but their love life seems to be a bit of a mess here for how or where you'll meet, we have Venus, Gemini, King of Cups, Seven of Swords, Four of Wands. Gemini can be the the dating app scenario I was saying, um, rule social media, so somehow through social media, but it can be through friends, family, Four of Wands, some sort of get together here, celebration. The atmosphere around how you meet seems to be very lighthearted, but let's get some more for those of you, you, you know, Okay, and we have number 34, day off, short trip, enjoyable activities. And we have proceed with caution, investigate, avoid rash decisions. Yeah. Um, so it is sort of very lighthearted, sort of carefree atmosphere when you do meet this person. And I see that for your first impression, we have sun, opposition, the fool, two of wands, eight of cups. So you'll see them as someone who's very confident, but very childlike. Um, I think you are perceiving them correctly. You won't trust this person. Uh, they can be a bit careless and you'll notice that. Some of you will enjoy uh, their sense of humor or just how carefree and sort of nonchalant they are. That may be very attractive. Um, they don't really get tied down to any person, place, or thing easily. Um, they're quick to move on from any disappointments. And you'll see that they're not really invested in anything is how you're perceiving them and some of you it's a bit of a opposites attract right if you are very serious responsible this person's a bit of the opposite they're here one minute they're they're another that scattered energy you're picking up on that for how they'll approach you we have 12th house capricorn ace of pentacles three of wands temperance a little bit about work coming through here again some of you this person is long distance with sagittarius ruling ninth house or it can be your meeting through higher learning of some sort through religion spirituality um, but there's the element of distance here um they'll want to work they realize or they recognize that you both are very different some of you it can be race culture age whatever personalities and they'll want to compromise and work on things with you, but I'm not getting the most trustworthy person. But there's potential here um, with the Ace of Pentacles. They'll want to work on things with you is how they'll approach you. But initially, it, they may be very work-focused and withdrawn with 12th house. So when you're getting to know them, they may be very hard to open up or you don't know much about them, especially if it's an online connection. Is the vibe I'm getting for some of you what kind of relationship you'll have we have Mercury seventh house first house two of Pentacles moon Knight of Pentacles four of cups one or both of you are very busy so this will take a while to get anywhere if it does Knight of Pentacles usually 
very slow moving to the point where one person may lose interest. Uh, specifically you here Libra but there's strong communication Mercury seventh house and first house beautiful um, there's a strong intellectual bond here and you'll really enjoy talking to each other about everything right you don't run out of topics here um, there's really doesn't matter what you're talking about it's just a great friendship here and it's a meeting of the minds here which will initially draw you to this person. This person's very charming with their words here as well. Any issues that arise, if you choose whatever these challenges are, um, you both will be able to communicate and compromise. But I don't know, this Knight of Pentacles, Four of Cups, it's, it's stagnant energy. And this will, you know, because it's moving so slowly, it may bring forth a lot of insecurities within one or both of you. Um, Self-worth issues are coming through. For the common bond, we have Sixth House, Libra, Fourth House, High Priestess, Three of Cups, Six of Swords. Some of you do like structure or stability. You have a set routine, um, and that is something you relate um, to this person with your Saturn. Um, you can be very disciplined. Some of you, it can be you meet through some sort of physical activity here, but I'm almost getting a bit of a, I don't know. I don't like this moon and the two of pentacles, three of cups, high priestess. There may be some secrets here, three of swords. Some of you, it's a third party situation. Be careful with this one. This is a bit of a heavy reading, Libra. Um, so I did ask the potential outcome, and we have Empress, Ten of Swords, Six of Wands. So your guides are telling you, um, those of you that know this person, or if you don't, the lesson here is about self-worth. It's knowing what you deserve, and you deserve better than these Ten of Swords in your back. And it's saying you have other options. You don't need to settle for anything less than you deserve, and never forget that is what your guides are wanting to convey to you here. Let's see, let's get you some Oracle Libra singles. It's almost a transitional love for a lot of you, um, is what I'm getting. Community. Yeah, I'm getting that. Some of you are meeting um, through people, commu your community with the 11th house. This person's well known. Yeah, this came through twice. Strong physical um, attraction between the both of you. Gift. Yeah, this person can be very generous with you. Um, gift giving may be a love language for some of you. Let's see. Libra singles next serious relationship yeah we have old wounds this person has some healing to do with that three of swords representing who they are tenderness yeah there is affection here there will be a lot of strong physical attraction but we go singles This person has a lot of healing to do before they can, yeah, fear of inadequacy, the self-worth issues, a lot of pain here, look at that. This is the love fortune teller, Libra singles. It will take time, number 87. It's not love, it's infatuation. Okay, that's a straightforward message for some of you asking you out on a date always listen to your intuition um, yeah this is a strong message here Libra practice self-love secret admirer yeah Expect to travel. Some of you, it's that distance. <laughs> Let them make the first move. Yeah, this person will be pursuing you. I'm um, traveling towards you. 
but be careful is what I'll say. They have a lot of healing to do and they're not on your level here. And to some of you, this may turn out, yeah, some of you, this may turn out to be just a, bit, a lesson in regards to self-love. I, I need, I think I'll use this deck for you. I didn't for the other signs, but I'm feeling called to. And the first card I saw was transitional love and I'm getting that here. Libra singles, next serious partner. Office affair, okay. Opposites attract, which I mentioned. Um, nope. Happily ever after. That one should come through twice, love, hate. Well, this can work here, Libra, but there will be challenges here. We have, you'll meet someone at the office or connected to work, tread carefully. You're stepping into your happily ever after, a future filled with so much joy and personal fulfillment. Love, hate, there's an indecisive pattern in this relationship, can't live with them, can't live without them. <laughs> yeah, this will be a bit of a roller coaster ride here for you definitely won't be easy and very there's jealousy here on your side or this person's what else uh let's get you advice what advice do you have for libra in regards to this person what advice something about life purpose and transformation we have the change you are experiencing is vital for your growth and future happiness. Don't fight it. All will be well, even if it doesn't feel that way right now. So that is a message for you, Libra. Some of you, you've met this person. They may be at a distance here, which is why it's taking time. Meanwhile, they're sort of saying, focus on yourself. Um, your practice self-love. That's what I'm getting. Yeah, you are good enough. A win-win outcome is forecast. Beautiful, I love this. this. is my favorite card in this deck. It's full moon in Libra, so you're making a strong presence in your own reading. So... Your guides want to assure you that, reassure you, <laughs> that no matter what happens, you know, whether you get your happily ever after with this person or someone else, you will be successful here. Um, you will get what you're manifesting in the outcome. So it's saying have faith, right? And if things have been a bit stagnant, yeah, energy is gaining momentum. Things will be moving forward. But right now it's a time for healing. So if things have been a bit stagnant, it, it is meant to be that way, okay? Libra, that is what I'm getting for you. Um, take care of yourself, and I will see you next week. Bye.